as a kid and as a young animator, I was always a huge fan of the Rankin Bass Christmas specials, and, and to me, the top three were always, uh, you know, Rudolph, Frosty, and the Little Drummer Boy. It was a fun challenge to figure out how to make something that had all the heart and the spirit that the original had. The original TV special of Little Drummer Boy aired uh, in 1968. But uh, I have no gift to bring. Go, look upon the newborn king. I used to sing in a professional caroling group. The Little Drummer Boy song was in that repertoire. It just had a, a, a drive, a pulse, a rhythm to it that I always enjoyed singing. Over 200 different versions of the song had been recorded. There's Mannheim Steamroller. Jars of Clay. Stevie Wonder. The Trap Family Singers of Sound of Music fame. Bing Crosby and David Bowie did an interesting duet of it. We're really, really excited now to have B.B. and C.C. Winans, Grammy award-winning uh, gospel artists, uh, recording the song for this project. Shall I play for you? sat down we said okay well, what do we want to do what do we want to change what do we want to keep the same we really kind of filled up the show with our veggie characters and their unique way of looking at the world Luke Skywalker Magi not Jedi one of my favorite additions that we added was Ben Harriman's troop May and we and then particularly Bernie the bad comedian <laughs> ha! I tell you how do you get a tax collector to smile for the camera just say fees <laughs> I don't get it. And now it's time for a VeggieTales Christmas party. The first Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. We ate Polish foods of Christmas. Originally we did the song back in 94 or 95, I believe, for a very veggie Christmas. Ooh. My background is Polish, Naraki is a Polish name, and my grandmother lived with us for years and would cook these foods. So it was just fun incorporating that into the song. And over the years, we had talked about animating it. And the challenge with that is because it has existed for so long as just a song, everybody kind of has their own idea of the, the picture of, of the song. Two steamed pierogies and a boiled potato topped with dill weed. The original recording was really low quality, and so uh, we re-recorded all the voices, and then Kurt Heineke uh, went back to the original song, but then resequenced everything. It just is a much better sounding song now. There's a lot of great lessons in the original Little Drummer Boy, and we, we tried to pull those out as well in our version. What Aaron needed was to learn about forgiveness, and that's what he learns when he goes to the manger and plays the song for Jesus. He experiences forgiveness and then learns to offer it as well. You know, Junior doesn't realize he's got a gift to bring, but he does. He's got this drumming gift, and so each of us has something like that. It's just a wonderful little story about offering what we have to God. Me and my drum.